How's it going, guys, mates? This is Mr. Charles. We're back with Clan. I don't know why I'm so excited to be back with Clan. Ed. I mean, I had like a five minute break looking after my girlfriend, just getting her some coffee, some water, some water for her paracetamol. Just thought it'd be a nice thing to do, you know? I do that every afternoon in between Let's Plays, because, you know, I have to try and be a good man in order to become a good husband. But, you know, that's gonna be, you know, in the future, I'm gonna keep looking after her. I'm not gonna stop doing that, but, you know. Uh, husbands for another time. Anyway, previously we got invited to the courtyard. We're going to see our dear friend Ryo Fujibayashi. And when I, when I say friend, I mean uh, suggestive. <laughs> I should really find something better to do with my hands other than the constant banging of hand willies. But you know, I, I'm just an immature little prick. Anyway, we're going to see how this goes. The die is cast, so prepare yourself. I've, I've spent a few minutes doing that, Kyo. If you want to know, how firm? It's as firm as a loaf of lunch bread after spending a month inside a death straw. Yes, yeah, they're trying to show that we, you know, we got a good friendship going. I do feel sorry for Sunahara, but I'm sorry. We're going to have to leave you for her. another girl we're just going to pick up, use, and throw away. So, you know, that was like a tissue kind of thing I was doing. I don't know. Well, I guess this is ultimately up to you. Well, I'll let you know it's no joke. I can withstand water pressure at a million meters deep. Don't let me down now, okay. <laughs> She's really trying her best to get on his tits. Friendship is magic! Ah, gee, shut it! Bam, okay, well, someone just got injured. Ah! I have no idea where she got it from, but there's now a Japanese English dictionary lodged in the area between Sunohara's eyebrows. Do you think she like, cut, like hides them in her boobs somewhere? That's why she's got like a, a massive stack. Isn't that like a South Park reference? Or an old meme, but to be fair, I've never really seen anyone in my life do that. Just seems a bit strange, like you're a mentally ill patient who doesn't know how shirts work. He then falls flat on his back and stops moving. Okay, he's dead. I'm sure no one would mind. Hey, you hit him with the corner just now, didn't you? It's okay, looks like he's still breathing. <laughs> Someone knows how to spot a fake death. He's also twitching. Anyway, be sure to accept Ryo's feeling. <laughs> what if it turns out he actually dies in this place? Or I'll be... Well, I'd be kind of heartbroken. <laughs> All right, accept your feelings. Accept it? What about how I feel? Who cares? Don't give me that bullshit. A, a cute girl like her is going to be your girlfriend, you know? What is there not to like? I mean, you know, I am looking forward to that, but... Miss Tomio more. I like Tomio. Well, nothing really. Quit nitpicking and go out with her. If it doesn't work out, then just break up with her. Wow, this is your sister we're talking about. You sure you want me to mess with her feelings like that? Hey, wait a minute. Even when we like that the little rice was there and she went off crying, didn't you? Weren't you ready to like murder me? Maybe that's just like a friendly threat. Maybe I don't understand sarcasm or something. Break up. That seems to be you to say. Well, the moment you do, you'll be parting with your life as well. <laughs> yeah, there we go. There's Miguel. There's a lot that you wouldn't know if you don't go out, and there's a lot that you only experience if you do. Don't you think it's better to grow your relationship as lovers instead of as friends? Is this something I'm going to need for the, the walkthrough? I don't know how to get up now. There we go. Uh, uh, is there a choice coming? Well, something that says even then if you want to. Okay, I think that's a much more meaningful way to spend your time. I guess it is a rhetorical question then, but there is one like option I have today. She's twisting the logic so well that I have no way to rebut. Ah, fine, I'll go. Good. W were we planning not to go? Because that, that, I wasn't going to let that happen. I take my bag and walk towards the door. Ah, Tomia. Hmm. Ah, well, what is it? <laughs> don't reproduce with my sister. Not yet, anyway. Nope, nothing. Good luck. Oh, don't do that. Now I'm going to think, well, is she wearing a panda outfit or something? You should have told your sister that instead. I say as I wave my hand and walk out of the classroom. Okay, where's the date? Let's date her. We're not going to bump into Furukara, are we? Because it's just Furukara's playground. I don't like that. I don't need her. I want to ignore her. I want her out of my life. The sunlight shines through the gaps in the leaves onto the stone fence. The place is filled with a set of lush greenery. It's also surprisingly secluded from the main campus. I often use this place when I ditched class. But I had never thought such a big event would occur here. A big event? What are you on about? Step onto the grass and hear it being crushed underfoot. Why are you calling this a big event, but you haven't called the previous girls? Like, when you were dating them, you weren't like, Oh, this is a big event! Celebrating the turn of the century! Well, is it because you feel like you're going to, like, get... I don't know, like, uh, 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 killed? Murdered? 
decimated by Kyo. I was trying to think of like more specific circumstances, but I couldn't think of any. Slowly walk forward, one step at a time. It's a fucking date. You've done this shit before. My destination is in the distance to see Fujibayashi. She appears to be waiting for someone as she sits on the stone fence. She's holding her bag with both her hands, her eyes fixed to the ground. She was like this yesterday at the school gate as well. Girlfriend. Ah. Take a deep breath and relax my shoulders in preparation for what's to come. Yo, sorry to keep you waiting. Ah, uh, oh, Kasaki-kun. No, well, I haven't been waiting at all. I read your letter. Right after I say that, she blushes. Her eyes, though still looking toward the ground, start to shift about restlessly. Y yes, I'm sorry for asking you to come like that. I, I thought it was rude to, but, but, um, I was too embarrassed. I tried, but that was the best I could do. Um, I I'm sorry. She suddenly apologizes. There was something you wanted to tell me, right? Is she going to ask me out? Oh, yes. She looks at me, her shoulders shuddering. However, it was only for an instant. She immediately looks back down at the ground. Regardless, I wait for Fujibayashi to start. Um, well, I... I... Mm -hmm. Okay, you're looking a bit too serene there. She tightens her grip on the bag she's holding. Then, as if finally making up her mind, she takes a deep breath. Um... When she looks at me, I can now see her eyes are gleaming with strong determination. Her face is red, but her spirit is simply unbelievable for the usually timid Fujibayashi. I like you, Okazaki-kun. Okay, looking good, looking good. I like you. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> okay, bye now. <laughs> just wanders off and she's like... <laughs> that would be fucking tragic. Yeah, she's shocked at that. Mm. 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 There's going to be a lot of these, aren't there? The silence is deafening. Is she going to follow through and ask me to go out with her? Well, that's a bit rude, isn't it? Isn't it the guy that's meant to do that shit? <laughs> Incoming dictionary! It would be strange if I asked her instead. What are you on about, you drug lord? Not oh, strange as my hair. Yes, yeah, still having very annoying moments with that. I'm sorry. F fucking... Oh, I wish I at least had a comb or something. Perfect. But, um, um, I'm sorry. It must really be a bother to hear that all of a sudden. I know it is a bother, but it really pains me to not say it. It feels like it's gripping my chest tight, she says with a frantic looking expression and glances towards me. Um, I finally decided yesterday to try my best. Well, only just now. So, mmm. She takes a deep breath in preparation for the words about to follow. Okazaki-kun, please go out with me. Yeah! Yeah! I'm gonna open a porn hub shop. Watch all the girls suck my willy. We all saw it coming. It's not exactly like a surprise. I mean, before it actually used to feel like, oh my god. Tommy and I felt like that because I wasn't sure it was going to happen. Miyazawa, they just shoved it in. I, I just kind of saw this hat. This is literally a dating simulator. So, you know, it's not like I didn't expect this. She says and bows her head. Mm. You know, Fujibayashi. Yes. Her head bounces back up to answer me. Her face is still deep red. What if I just told her, like, the size of my dick right now? Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Um, let me get back to you on that. And then he fucking leaves the school and never comes back. <laughs> like, yeah, his dad is a bit abusive at times, but it was Ryo asking him out that made him leave the country. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, yes. But to tell you the truth... Okay... Nah, this is just a build-up. This is just a... Oh, I couldn't really do that. And he's got, like... He's getting sweaty and, like... Mm. Anyway, tell you the truth, I don't really think that. Yeah, of course not. Uh, yes. Well, it wasn't until this year that we ended up in the same class. And we never had the opportunity to. Oh, <laughs> don't give me those puppy dog eyes. In response to my onslaught of words... Fujibashi's head droops. It feels as though I have been saying something mean to her. Yeah, well, that's what happens with girls when you say you don't like them. I don't really know how it'll turn out if we go out under these circumstances. Oh, stop. 
Okay, this was the choice then. <laughs> no, we're not doing the second one. So I need to say, yeah, let's... It says even then if you want to, but let's give it a try. But if it's okay with you, let's give it a try. Huh? She looks at me in astonishment. We still don't know each other that well. But I think if we don't spend more time together, we won't get to know each other. Instead of getting to know each other as friends, I think maybe it's not a bad idea if we get to know each other as boyfriend and girlfriend. Okay. And then she's like, hmm, how do I take this? She blinks her eyes and looks at me slightly dumbfounded. What I said, what she heard, so that she's organizing all these ideas in her head right now. Ideas? Don't make it sound wrong. Then, as if the results have finally been computed, she tightens her grip of her bag. Uh, then, um, I am... I am a... As of this moment, you're my girlfriend. That sounds okay. Mmm. <laughs> That's sweet. Fujibashi? Mmm. Mmm. Fujibashi could look at me. Teardrops emerge from her eyes and drip down her face. Yeah, I am like, like, punched you or anything. Uh, Fujibashi? I'm sorry. I wonder why. Did I say something weird? No, that's that's not why. I didn't mean to cry. I decided that I wouldn't cry if it didn't work out. I'm sorry. My tears won't stop. Even though I'm supposed to be happy and it's strange to cry. Where's this going? Fujibayashi? She must really have feelings for me. Until now, I'd never really thought that someone would need me so much. This is the same, well, I mean, I, the ignoring thing, fair enough. Was her trying to, like, deal with my tardiness and attempt to be like, hey, I kind of like, excuse me, excuse me, I want to play with your ears. Is that, is that what she was doing by trying to look out for me? Oh, God, now I do feel bad. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but are you really okay with me? I don't intend to go back on my word. This is like a dream. I'm glad, I'm so happy. Teardrops continue to rush down Fujibayashi's face. I gently reach out my hand and grab the soggy cheek. Mmm. It's pretty soft. It's also pretty wet. Eh? Then I gently pinch it. Okazaki-kun, it kind of hurts. That means it's not a dream. Ah. Fujibayashi's eyes widens in shock. Holy shit, you actually dated someone. I let go of her cheek and instead put my hand on her forehead. You are my girlfriend already. So stop crying. Ah, uh, yes. She wipes her face with her uniform sleeves. Then she turns toward me with a bright smile. Tomoya! Huh? Eh? Ah? With a thump, Fujibayashi pushes me in the chest. Pushes? Well, like, pushes me away? Its impact, while there isn't much of one, causes me to take a few steps back. And the oh, yeah, we like... It's a secret relationship, isn't it? All right, fine. At the very same moment, something breezes by my ear. So quickly that I feel my ears ringing. What I heard next was a swoosh, followed by the sound of something crashing into the ground. Is it a dictionary? And does Kyo think I'm trying to be a bit forward? A bit too forward. I look at my feet apprehensively, and now I find a Kojen ko 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 dictionary? What the hell is that? Carved, caved deeply into the ground. Yeah, I wonder who did that. I don't know if I can still skip the text that I want to read. Oh, but heaven forbid, like, there's, like, text I don't want to read. I can't skip it. Right, well, where's the, uh, uh, Dankopedia? The Dingle Dangle Berrypedia? Uh, it's actually considered the most authoritative dictionary of the Japanese language. Ooh. Might use that later. All right, fine. That'd be useful when I live in Japan. All right. Hmm. That idiot, if she actually hit me, I would have died. Tomoyo, what are you doing making Ryo cry? Well, you've got to learn to just take some chill pills. You! You were spying on us again, weren't you? You made that sound like I did something wrong. I was just keeping an eye on you two because I was worried. That's what you call spying. Um, uh, besides, what's the big idea with this thick book? It'd be a serious problem if it actually hit my head. I was aiming for your neck. That's even worse. Um, Onichi and Okazaki-kun, I don't think you two should fight. Ryo! Yes! What did this moron tell you? He even pinched the cheek. Are you, yeah, because that's obviously, you know, a sign of abuse. Are you okay? That was, um, Tomoya. She's a girl. What the hell do you think you were doing? 
Oh, sheesh, it's none of your business, so shut up, will ya? None of my business? How dare you say it's none of my business? Rio's my sister. It definitely is. Well, I'm her boyfriend. Can't you be more polite? And you're saying I should be polite to... Boyfriend? Her eyes blink repeatedly. Her expression looks like a pigeon that was hit with a pea shooter. Why would you do that in your spare time? All right. Who, who is... I point at myself silently. Who's... I point at Futabayashi with the same finger. Which means... Kyo looks back and forth between... Yep, yeah, no, two plus two. What could it be? It's not going to be a new mansion. It's not going to be a pair of Levi jeans. Yep. Yeah. Um, Okazaki-kun. I may not be suitable, but I hope we can get along. That's how it is. Uh, I see. So that's how it is. Yep, yeah, just think, if you hit me, you would have really upset your sister. And be done for murder, so not great. Ah, I see, I see. The two of you are going out. Kyo scratches her head and smiles exaggeratedly. She immediately turns forward or towards Fujiwayashi and grabs her hand. Ryo, isn't that great? Yep, it's all thanks to you on each. Really, what about my contribution to life? Fujiwayashi says happily while smiling with just a few teardrops left. She did play a nice matchmaker though, I'll give you that. I guess that new binder you bought didn't go to waste. But what? That's... The new binder? You mean the one for horoscopes? Well, it's not really a horoscope, but... Oh, dear. On oh, each hand. If I had to say, I guess it's a binder for... Lovers? Oh, no. I don't want any pictures of me naked, please. Ah, I see. I sure hope you guys will fill up that lovey-dovey binder. Ah! Embarrassed, Fujibayashi wails. It still feels somewhat surreal. But I have a girlfriend now. You've had one like several times in life. It's fine. It's normal. You just forget them all. Because you don't care about any of them. But that is where I'm going to end the episode. Next time we're going to see what it's like to date Fujibayashi. The, the Ryo, the Shire one. Kyo's for another time. But if you want to play the game for yourself and see if you can date her first. There'll be a link to the game in the description down below. And without further ado... Little bit scratch until this time. See ya!